find the reactions at the wall. Step one is to do your free body diagram. The wall is going to give me two forces and a moment, which I can pick the directions for. I'm going to include also my distributed load of four kilonewtons, uh, four newtons rather, per meter, and the axial load of six newtons. And I also need my distances. You may either include the distributed load on your three body diagram or your equivalent load, but not both. So in this case, I've chosen to include the distributed. My equilibrium equations give me OX plus 6 equals 0. Some of the forces in Y, OY. Now I want to figure out what the equivalent point load is. That gives me 4 newtons per meter acting over the 5 meters. And the sum of the moments at point O, my choice, gives me 4 newtons per meter times 5 meters. That acts in the middle of the distributed load because it's a uniform load. So it's going to act right at the middle of that five meters, which is two and a half meters plus three meters away from the wall. And this acts counterclockwise. I also have my reaction moment at the wall, which I defined as being counterclockwise. So those two have to add up to zero. Now I can solve. OX is negative six. OY is negative 20. And MO is 100, minus 110. Answer the question. This does not tell me, from a third-person standpoint, which direction those reactions go. You need to actually say, this is 6 newtons to the left, 20 newtons down, and 110 newton meters clockwise. 